Welcome to the video. This is Teacher Glenn once again. Ito po ang second part. This is the second part of the grade 3 mathematics about arranging fractions in ascending order. Note, the decimal concept is not yet introduced, so hindi po tayo pwedeng gumamit ng calculators. No calculator and no division in this problem. In the first part of the video, we made the first method which is the visual representation of these fractions. And in that way, we were able to arrange the fractions in ascending order. So mula sa pinakamaliit hanggang sa pinakamalaki. Now in this video, we're going to utilize the abstract idea or the butterfly method. In the butterfly method, we'll be comparing two fractions. So we're going to pair this up. Magkakaroon po tayo mga pairings ng mga fractions na to to determine which one is greater than or lesser than. Again, we have to make sure that every fraction is in the smallest form or simplest form. So 20 over 30 would be 2 over 3. 30 over 100 is 3 over 10. 15 over 20 is 3 over 4. And 10 over 24 is 5 over 12. Now, in this method, I'm going to insert a plan. Ang gagawin ko po, is group these fractions into two. The first group would be fractions which are greater than one half, and the second group would be fractions which are less than one half. Once they are grouped into two, it would be easier for me to compute and utilize the butterfly method. So in this group, I'm gonna list all fractions which are less than one half, and in this group, I'm gonna list all fractions which are greater than one half. So what do we mean by this? How will I arrive to this groupings? I have to pair each fraction to one half and then identify now which one is greater or which one is lesser by using the butterfly method. So it should look like this, like a butterfly, and it goes like this. So you simply multiply these paired numbers, 13 and 2, that would be 26. And then 15 and 1, multiply that, that would be 15. So these numbers, ito pong number na ito, will indicate which fraction is greater than the other. So 26 is greater than 15. This means that 13 over 15 is greater than 1 half. That's how simple the butterfly method is. So again, you simply multiply the paired numbers. 2 times 1, that's 2. 4 times 1, that's 4. And then 2 is less than 4, so therefore 1 fourth is less than 1 half. So I'm going to do the same method to these 8 pairs. And then I'm going to classify which group is less than 1 half and which group is greater than 1 half. So there, I'm done with applying the butterfly method. So now I would pick all fractions which are less than 1 half. So I have 1 fourth, 3 over 10. 5 over 12 and 4 over 9. So these are now the set of fractions which are less than 1 half. So ibig sabihin, the rest are now greater than 1 half. These are 13 over 15, 5 over 8, 3 over 5, 2 thirds, 3 fourths, and 7 over 12. So these are now my group of fractions which are greater than 1 half. So in my next stage of solution, iko compare ko lang ang bawat magkakatabing fraction whether they are less than or greater than the other one. So the first pair up is 1 fourth and 3 tenths, and then 3 tenths and 5 over 12, and then 5 over 12 and 4 over 9. So let's start with the first pairing by applying the butterfly method. That's 10 times 1. This is 10. And then 4 times 3, this is 12. So 10 is less than 12. That means 1 fourth is less than 3 over 10. The next pair of fraction, 3 over 10 and 5 over 12, applying the butterfly method, that's 3 times 12 is 36. And then 10 times 5 is 50. 36 is less than 50. It goes the same with 3 10 less than 5 over 12. And then the third fraction, applying the same method, 5 times 9 is 45. 12 times 4 is 48. It's obvious that 45 is less than 48. 
that also means that 5 over 12 is less than 4 over 9. Looking at this result, it already shows that these fractions are already arranged in ascending order. Mula sa pinakamaliit hanggang sa pinakamalaki. As you notice on the result, lahat po ay less than the other. So we are assured that these are already arranged in ascending order. Now we go to this next set of fractions. These are the fractions which are greater than one half. So my plan here is to group it by three. So this will be the first group and this will be the second group. Yeah, apply ko lang naman ang butterfly method. So I'm gonna simply compare them. So 13 times 8 is 104. And then 15 times 5 is 75. This shows that 13 over 15 is greater than 5 over 8. And then the next comparison is 5 over 8 and 3 over 5. We apply the same method. 5 times 5 is 25. And then 8 times 3 is 24. So it also shows that 25 is greater than 24, meaning 5 over 8 is greater than 3 over 5. So with this result, pinapakita niya that this is already arranged in descending order mula sa pinakamalaki hanggang sa pinakamaliit. Now the other group of fractions, we apply the same butterfly method. So 4 times 2 is 8 and then 3 times 3 is 9. So 2 thirds is less than 3 fourths. We check another comparison. 3 times 12 is 36 and then 4 times 7 is 28. It also shows that 3 fourths is greater than 7 over 12. So I'm done comparing this set of fractions. Now let me go back to this first group of fractions. I can reverse this order such that I'm going to start with 3 fifth, which is less than 5 eighth, which is also less than 13 over 15. So from descending order, I have reversed the order into ascending order. Mula sa pinakamaliit hanggang sa pinaka Malaki. For this group of fractions, what I can do is to simply reverse this two fraction such that 7 over 12 is less than 3 over 4. Notice that I'm aftering this symbol less than in such a way that everything should go in an ascending order. So I am good with this. 7 over 12 is less than 3 over 4. I'm also good with this 3 over 5 is less than 5 over 8. I'm going to group this next three fractions to determine which one is less than the other. Using butterfly method, 3 times 13 is 39. And then 15 times 2 is 30. 39 is greater than 30. This means that 13 over 15 is greater than 2 over 3. 2 times 12, this is 24. And then 3 times 7, this is 21. So 24 is greater than 21. This also means that 2 thirds is greater than 7 over 12. The order of this fraction is in descending order. Mula sa mataas, papunta sa maliit. We're gonna reverse that order. So it will become an ascending order. 7 over 12 is now less than 2 thirds. And 2 thirds is now less than 13 over 15. we we'll just simply bring this down. And also 3 fourths. So we have 5 over 8 and 7 over 12. Use the butterfly method. That's 5 times 12 is 60. And then 8 times 7 is 56. It means that 5 over 8 is now greater than 7 over 12 because 60 is greater than 56. Same with this pair of fractions. 13 times 4 is 52. And then 15 times 3 is 45. So 52 is greater than 45. That means that 13 over 15 is greater than 3 over 4. So again, we simply need to reverse it. So we have 7 over 12 is less than 5 over 8. So we can check the relationship by applying the butterfly method. 12 times 3 is 36. And then 5 times 7 is 35. This shows that 3 over 5 is greater than 7 over 12. And then same with this fraction, we reverse the order of this. So 3 fourths now is less than 13 over 15. And 3 fourths now is paired to 2 thirds, which is on our previous solution sa taas po, 
two thirds was determined to be less than three fourths. So this is already less than. At this point, we can check now the relationship of five eighths and two thirds. That's three times five is 15. Eight times two is 16. It shows that 15 is less than 16. So this is already less than five eighths is less than two thirds. Now we can fix this pair such that 7 over 12 now is less than 3 fifths, which is also less than 5 over 8. And we can connect this sets or groups of fractions, showing now that these six fractions are now in ascending order, mula sa pinakamaliit hanggang sa pinakamalaki. Note as well that these fractions are greater than 1 half, so we can also say that 1 half is less than 7 over 12, which is less than 3 over 5, and so on. We combine this set now of fractions, which is already arranged in ascending order. So ito po yung mangyayari. 1 fourth now is less than all of this set of fractions. So in this arrangement, we can say that this is already arranged in ascending order as you notice that the symbol for every pair of fractions is less than. So let me know what you think. Comment down below if this was confusing or if this was helpful. Let me know if there's another way of solving this the easier way. If this was helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe. And thank you for watching.